Welcome back to Pearl Mr. Channel. In this video, we will take the Pearl HVN 6.2K Pro connection ports as a reference to provide a detailed overview of the port design for all in one solar inverters. We will also guide you on how to choose the appropriate port configuration based on your needs. The power transmission ports of a solar inverter typically include four types. Battery ports, PV input ports, AC input ports, and AC output ports. Let's start with the battery ports. The most critical factor for battery ports is the port diameter. Since the charge and discharge current for batteries are typically large, the associated cables are relatively thick. Therefore, battery port design generally requires larger cable entering points and a terminal block with higher current carrying capacity. Different inverter models vary significantly in charge and discharge current specifications. Accordingly, battery ports are configured based on the required current capacity. For high charge current requirements, such as the PO HVN 6.2K Pro, which supports a maximum charging current of 120 Ampere and a maximum battery current of 138.8 Ampere. It is recommended to use two gauge battery cables. However, the PO HVN 6.2K Pro features a thoughtful design. Its positive and negative battery ports each have two openings, allowing users to connect two four gauge cables in parallel to the same ports. This eliminates the need for user to purchase two gauge cables, which are less commonly used in residential applications. Next are the PV input ports. The PO HBN 6.2K Pro is required with built in MC4 connectors, enabling plug and play functionality. This design allows users to quickly establish secure and stable connections why facilitating easy disconnection or reconnection during maintenance or troubleshooting? In addition to MC4 connectors, some inverters use traditional screw-type terminal blocks for PV inputs. Other models, such as the Poson Smart 10K or SoXPO series, support dual or multiple MPPD inputs. This feature allows for a connection for multiple PV arrays catering to larger scales and more diverse photovoltaic systems. The AC input ports is typically used to connect to grid power or generator. In some cases, users may choose only one of these options based on their needs, in which case an inverter with a single AC input port will suffice. For scenarios where both grid power and generator are needed as backup source, Having a dedicated generator ports can be advantageous. This design allows seamless switching between power source without requiring rewiring, reducing unnecessary installation steps. Finally, let's discuss the AC output ports. The PO HVN 6.2K Pro features a dual output design, which enhances the stability of power delivered to critical appliances. Important appliances can be connected to the first output port. When battery power is low, the inverter will temporarily disable the second output to prioritize stability of the first output. Once the battery voltage recovers, the second output will automatically resume operation. This intelligent power distribution minimizes disruptions to essential appliances. Many other dual output inverters are available as reference for users with similar needs. That concludes our detailed explanation of the power transmission ports designed for all in one solar inverters. We hope this information helps you choose the right inverter for your requirements. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.